going to be telling us about journalism in the age of new media implications for freedom of expression. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I was going to introduce myself, but I think Peter's done a lovely job. <laughs> um, so I will be talking about journalism in the age of new media and the effects. Thank you. The effect this has on freedom of expression. And thank you very much for inviting me to speak this afternoon. OK, so just a very quick introduction. Journalism has undergone nothing short of a revolution in recent years. With greater public engagement through a growth of participatory media, such as blogs, forums, user-generated content, crowdsourcing, social networking, and mobile technologies, amongst others, traditional news journalism has become less of a linear, top-down product and more of a collaborative, interactive, and multi-directional process. And these changes, of course, throw up some rather fundamental questions about journalism. What is it for? What is its value to society? Who is a journalist? And what implications do these changes have on freedom of expression? So using a few case studies illustrating the rise of what can be termed social media-based journalism and highlighting Global Voices, the organization I'm representing, um, which is a community of more than 500 bloggers and translators from around the world and where I'm very fortunate to sit on the board of directors, I want to show how we're really in the midst of a democratic, more open, if at times it has to be said rather chaotic, model of news gathering. And this model um, really includes voices that mainstream journalism has often ignored in the past. And of course, while no model of journalism is perfect, and this archetype too does have its flaws, it is undeniable that journalism is now really sort of embracing this opportunity to fulfill its democratic purpose.